Some interesting and some would say contradictory comments here from Chris Eubank Jr. He has publicly criticized this promoter, Kala Sauerland, for trying to match him against an obscure opponent. But as this article on Boxing Scene points out, it weren't so long ago that Eubank Jr. was actually dismissing the possibility of fighting Janabek Alim Kanuli, who is a legitimate world champion at 160 pounds. He said of Alim Kanuli, quote, I don't know who they are. And there were a number of names mentioned. Alim Kanuli was one of them. He said, I don't know who they are, and I'm in the game. So the general public are not going to know who these guys are, which means it's hard for them to tune in if you're making it a pay per view event, which a world title should be. All right. Those are the words of Chris Eubank Jr. speaking of several fighters, including Alim Kanuli, in the not too distant past. However, in the past few days, he took to social media to say the following, quote, went to sleep after agreeing to fight Janabek, uh, Janabek, excuse me, for world titles, woke up and now my promoter at Sowell and Brothers is trying to make me fight Etin Osa Oliha, a boxer nobody has heard of. How and why? Interesting that he would shame his promoter like this publicly because Eubank Jr. has had a good relationship, it would seem anyway, from the outside looking in with his promoter, Sowland for a number of years now. Even before they did the long-term deal, they obviously worked together for the World Boxing Super Series. And during that time, Sowland seemed to be gushing about Eubank Jr. and be really high on him and all this kind of thing. But now he's saying stuff like this about his promoter publicly, which isn't going to go down well with Sowland. How many fights does Eubank Jr. have left on his contract? If it's not many, will he be looking to move on? from the Sowerlands and sign with somebody else in the not too distant future. Now, I can see why Kala Sowerland would want to match Chris Eubank Jr. with this obscure fighter, this uh, Etin Osa Oliha, because Janabek Alim Kanuli, I think in the opinion of most people, and I have to imagine in the estimation of Kala Sowerland, would absolutely school Chris Eubank Jr. Now, I don't want to say that it's impossible for Eubank Jr. to win. At the end of the day, we did see Janabek Alim Kanuli uh, struggle a little bit with Denzel Bentley. He won the fight, but Denzel Bentley was able to stay in there and make a fight of it. And Denzel Bentley isn't the greatest world-level fighter you've ever seen, is he? So maybe Chris Eubank Jr. can go and do it in there and do something similar. But I suspect Janabek would be on his P's and Q's and at the top of his game against Chris Eubank Jr. because that would be probably the most high-profile fight that Janabek would have ever been involved in. And so I would expect him to just school Eubank and win comfortably. I suspect that's what the Sowerlands think as well. Hence, they want to try and make some money out of Eubank Jr., maybe for an IBO title against an obscure opponent, put it in an arena. Obviously, Eubank Jr. is riding high off the back of the Liam Smith victory, the revenge victory. And his name is up there at the moment with the British public. So there's an opportunity to milk that and exploit that. And I think that's what the Sowlands are looking at. I had assumed that Eubank Jr. was looking at that himself because that's what he did previously. He did have the IBO title a few years ago and he fought a few obscure guys and was making out as though the IBO was as legitimate and as good as any of the other world titles out there. It's like when his dad, Eubank Sr., had the WBO belt. And when, even when Riddick Bowe had the WBO belt back in the days at heavyweight, and they would constantly say, it's not the belt that makes the fighter, it's the fighter that makes the belt, right? It's the fighter that legitimizes the belt. So yeah, I'm kind of surprised it wasn't Eubank's idea or that Eubank wasn't happy to go along with fighting this particular guy. Maybe he is. You know, Some people might want to get uh, a little deep with it and say, this is probably all just for show. Uh, Eubank, because he knows there's going to be public backlash, has agreed with his promoter Sauerland to pretend that his promoter is making him fight this guy against his own wishes, etc. I don't think it's that, but some people might come up with that as an explanation. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section below. Eubank Jr. having some kind of public disagreement with Kala Sauerland over trying to match him against this obscure opponent from Italy. Do you think that Eubank Jr. should be going down that road or do you think he should be fighting Janabek? I personally think he needs to be fighting one of the champions, not necessarily Janabek, but one of the champions because an IBO title is never going to be seen as a legitimate world title. Eubank Jr. is in his 30s now, I think approaching his mid 30s. So there's no more time left. You got to get in there and just do what you can while you still have some semblance of youth left about you. So that's my take on it. I think he should go for it either against Janabek or one of the other world champions. 
but maybe some people might think that the IBO route is better because at the end of the day, it is prize fighting. How much money is he really going to make against Jenebek Alim Kanuli? Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments.